thanks for coming back to the channel. Now listen, if you've been shooting your AR for a while, and if you've ever shot reload ammo through your AR, or you're not sure, or you're not sure of the quality of the ammunition, but what you've been experiencing are mysterious malfunctions. Uh, a round stuck in the chamber that you couldn't get out. Uh, the trigger stops working correctly. Mysterious things. And then you look inside and you can't figure out what's going on. Uh, the culprit almost always is that. Uh, it's called a popped primer. Uh, this one is a reload that I did uh, a year or so ago and you can see that it failed to feed after the primer um, popped out and it got lodged uh, halfway going in. You can see the little scar there as it went going into the chamber. <clears throat> into the breach. Uh, there's even still some powder in this thing because I wanted to save it for this video. Um, I've been I've reloaded thousands and thousands of rounds of, of uh, 223 and uh, I started and I heard about this stuff called um, crimped primers and then you had to do magic with the primer pocket and uncrimp the crimp and the crimp was military and so forth and I found that a total inconvenience right mm -hmm. and I even got new brass and said fui on that other crimp stuff and but the, prop, the, the fact is is that there's a reason that the US military and NATO use crimped primer pockets and that's so this little prick doesn't pop out and go screwing up your gun and I mean really really screwing up your gun I can't tell you how many malfunction types I've had and the, the bad thing about popped primers is uh, sometimes the primer will just will drop through the trigger mechanism and go on the ground and you never see it so it will not like it will be sitting down inside your trigger mechanism or other places but sometimes the bolt this will it'll pop at the wrong time is always the wrong time but then this primer will show up your bolt will jam right because a piece of primer is now stuck between the bolt and the bolt carrier or you'll get misfires because a piece of primer will be stuck in the breech in between the teeth somewhere and the bolt won't seat. But when you pull it out, that piece will fall out and you won't see it. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll think, what? My gun and you know, you'll clean it. Or you'll have the pop primer, this guy, down inside your trigger mechanism affecting the ability of the trigger to, to be pulled and then when you go to look mysteriously it'll fall out you won't see that but it'll fall out so for almost all of those kind of malfunctions it's because of a popped primer um, and I just did a test of some reloads that I did I did a test a couple days ago and I shot about a hundred rounds of, uh, of this ammo and I would shoot six rounds stop and then I would I literally pick up the brass and I would look to see if the primer was still there um, I had one popped primer out of a hundred rounds shot which is not good that's the equivalent of three 30 round magazines ish and if you're in a fight uh, you, you pretty much and you have one of these type of malfunction you're not going to sit there and do a, a tap rack that's not going to fix it 
You either get out of the fight or you go to secondary. You know, use your pistol to go somewhere where you could, or, or, or do a battlefield pickup and pick up somebody else's gun. So when you have one of these popped primer malfunctions, you're done. Which then brings me to uh, a plea, and it was a plea from uh, James Yeager, who I've never met personally, and I follow his channel. Uh, I agree with some of his positions. He's passionate about some things, but he's, he has some excellent points in his training. And one of them says, bring commercial ammo to training. Bring commercial ammo to training. Why? Because your training experience will be miserable, and so will the people you're training with if you're sitting there slowing up the, the exercise because your gun's out of service. And or they might have to now loan you a rifle because yours is out for the next two days or three days or whatever because they're not going to sign an armor to fix it for you. So that would be my encouragement as well. I didn't want to say that because I happen to think reloading is cost efficient. But if you're going to spend $400 for a class and you're going to burn up the ammo anyway, um, it's a good investment to stay focused on the training <clears throat> and not mysterious malfunctions in your gun. So that's my encouragement, my, my message to everyone. Um, I will continue to reload, but I will not use my reloads as part of my defense, um, uh, my defense ammo that will either be uh, Lake City, which is the military crimped primer ammo, or commercial ammo. Uh, I'll use my um, reload ammo for I don't want to say plinking because I don't plink. I do drills, uh, but I don't do, you know, a hundred rounds without stopping kind of thing. You know, I don't burn up, you know. And since I reload, I always stop and pick up my brand like a crack addict, you know. You're going you're gonna to shoot that? You know, so I always pick up <clears throat> my brass, and when I pick it up, I inspect. And when I see that a primer is not in the brass, I stop what I'm doing, I take my rifle off the line, I take, take it apart, take the bolt out, use a light. If I can't find the primer, that's good. That means the primer's on the ground somewhere and I'm good to go. I just make sure I look down inside the trigger mechanism because just because I'm not having a trigger malfunction right then, I might because that little prick could be stuck somewhere and you just can't quite see it. So I bang it, you know, make sure it falls out. And that's just life in reloading. Reloading of, of uh, 223 ammo. And I don't, I don't supercharge the powder. I'm on the low end usually of whatever the recipe says. So um, that's just a message to you. If you have these mysterious malfunctions in your AR and you use reload ammo or you're not sure about the quality of the ammo, uh, pick up the brass and check for pop primers. Now, unless you're in a training class and you're going and you're pretty dynamic, I would make it a practice to pick up my ammo anyway and check. But anytime I've had a malfunction that I can't explain, or takes my gun off the line, it's almost certainly going to be a, a primer floating around in there somewhere. So, any thoughts from any of you who have more experience than I do and have some secret stuff, let me know. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Put them in the comments down below. I am going to uh, increase my stash of Lake City, which is the, the um, crimped primer ammo, uh, not a billion rounds but enough and I will increase my stash of commercial ammo and I will continue to reload just saying alright as always thanks for watching carry on